Our exclusive interview with the new College Station Superintendent, Tim Harkrider, has covered topics from his background and his philosophies to how he envisions running the school district. Well, tonight we hear about hot topics across the state, school funding, and how he sees the importance of outside help, not just from people in the district. With the expectations and uh, what is expected of College Station ISD, uh, can it be run the way it consist constituents expect it without tax rate increases either from uh, growing budgets or new bonds or is that just a thing that at some point there needs to be some sort of extra revenue from the taxpayers to meet up with those right i think the extra revenue really needs to come from our legislators you know i think uh, the district has dropped the tax rate here about 23 cents over the last several years which is huge uh, sometimes our taxpayers are wondering well it's 23 cents i'm still paying more well that's because the property values have been rising at a crazy amount and we don't control the property values we do control the tax rate and i think what we need and and we have to you know continue to work with our legislation uh, We've got to be proactive. We've got to sometimes agree to disagree. But right now, we're in a position where we need new money. And what I mean by new money is our basic allotment needs to be increased. It hasn't been touched since 2019. And so we're, you know, inflation and everything that's happened post-COVID, everything costs more money, you know, whether that's from fuel, whether that's paper products or the district, everything that we do as a district costs more money to run than it did in 2019, yet we're still getting the same amount of money for kids. And that would be brand new money for us. So there's an opportunity that, you know, a lot of times when some of this legislation gets passed, you know, the legislature will say, hey, we're, we gave X amount of new money. Well, old money left, new money came in, it's kind of a wash. And, uh, you know, our, I know from talking to our school board that our legislators here have been very pro-public school, uh, setting up a meeting here in the next coming weeks with uh, John Rainey, looking forward to meeting with him. I know he's a big supporter of ours. And I think, uh, you know, the House has been really diligent over the years of, of note of vouchers, and I totally understand why. But where we are right now is the Senate's no vouchers, no money. Uh, you know, and, it, and that's not fair to our staff. You know, our staff works hard. Staffs across the state work hard. And I think hopefully there's got to be some sort of sit down of a compromise of whatever form of vouchers they want to figure out. Uh, because in my opinion, the product that we have here in College Station, uh, I'm all about competition. You know, I'm a competitor. So if charter schools want to continue to come in and compete, we can compete with anybody. Uh, you know, Brian does a great job. I think we do a great job. And then we'll let parents decide where they, you know, where they want to live. But I think the new money has got to come from the legislature. Uh, it's too tied to property values right now. And, and, our, and our taxpayers right now are the ones getting hammered.